A centrifugal compressor running at 16,000 RPM takes in air at 17 degrees Celsius and compresses it through a pressure ratio of 4 with an isentropic efficiency of 82%. The air flow at entry to the impeller is in an axial direction. If the slip factor is 0.85, calculate the impeller tip diameter. And we're given some constants here. Okay, so in our question, we're told that um, RPM is 16,000 RPM. The temperature at inlet is 17 degrees Celsius. Well, that converts to 290 degrees Kelvin. The pressure ratio, P2 is to P1, is 4. Uh, we have eta is equal to 82%, and the slip is 85. And we're asked to calculate the diameter. Okay, so omega works out to be 16,000 divided by 60 multiplied by 2 pi. So that's 1676 radians per second. So VBE is going to be 1676 um, times R. And R is just D over 2, which is what we have to, which is what we have to determine. I have T1 and I have the pressure ratio and I have the efficiency of the um, compressor. So I have all that I need to calculate the output temperature T2. And when I do that, um, T1 being 290, P2 to P1 being 4, gamma is 1.4 from here, and the efficiency is 82%, I get an outlet temperature uh, from the compressor of 462 degrees Kelvin. Okay, so the power output of the turbo of the compressor is m times cp t2 minus t1 and it's all the power in should be equal to m dot vbe squared times uh, sigma that should be m dot there actually uh, let me fix that so <clears throat> So the power out, m times cp t2 minus t1, is equal to m vbe squared times sigma. So they must be equal to each other. The m's will cancel. So we have m dot here, m dot there, so they go. So we have cp times t2 minus t1. We know uh, vbe, sorry, uh, we know that vbe is, is equal to omega r. Okay, so if we plug in the values, so CP is 1005, T2 is 462, T1 is 290, that's equal to VBE squared times 0.85, that's our slip. And from that we get VBE is equal to 451 meters per second. So we take that and we stick it in here. So VBE, which is 451, is equal to omega times r, and r is just d over 2, and when we solve for that we get the diameter is 538 millimeters.